All right, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Dale Johnson, coming to you from the Denver Foundation, Denver Foundation and Open Media Foundation, uh, sparking uh, and, and budding uh, a new relationship to uh, help produce uh, storytelling for the foundation and for the purposes of the community spotlight here at Open Media Sessions. We're super thankful to be here and excited. I'm excited to have Michelle here with me uh, from the Chalk Gallery. That's a Chicano Humanities and Arts Council. Uh, so, Michelle, let's, let's jump into it. Let's do it. All right, cool. So what can you tell us about Chalk? Uh, what is your mission, uh, a little bit of your history, and some of uh, your, your values and visions as an organization? Well, we have been in existence since about 1978. We started as an organization of artists really interested in promoting Chicano and Latino art um, through the humanities, uh, specifically visual arts, but we all, our early founding members were poets, oh, wow. writers, storytellers, dancers, and we recently moved. That's awesome. All right, cool. Uh, so where has the move happened? Are you uh, in the neighborhood? Are you in the, in the, so in the local area? Yes, we are. I'm so happy you asked that. We're at 222 Santa Fe Drive, just a couple blocks south. Uh, interestingly enough, uh, Chalk was uh, closer to 8th and Santa Fe until very recently. It's right around the corner. Right around the corner. And the early Chalk was actually um, in, started in West Denver, and um, I'm sure a lot of us know that West Denver has a long history in providing murals and Chicano artists, and Chalk was a way to bring all of those artists together and have a place to promote their art and display their art. Um, thinking back to 1978, it was a different period of time, so the artists that really started Chalk were groundbreakers. Yeah, that's awesome. And so we were talking before the show, uh, and you mentioned that some of the founders were able to come through to the new space. Can you uh, share a little bit about that experience? Yes, I would love to. Um, since I recently started with Chalk and May um, as the uh, in the education programming, I've been fortunate enough to meet some of the founders, and these discussions included, you know, the vision that they had um, bringing Chalk to Denver, and it's just been wonderful to hear those stories. Uh, the struggle, um, having that place, having a, a dedicated place to their art was their main vision. Ah, that's beautiful. So uh, I just want to improvise a little bit here. And because you sound like you're so passionate about Chalk as an organization, what is your favorite part about working for Chalk and, and being the education director? My favorite part is working with the people and just enjoying the art, getting to see everybody's different perspective and how they see community and how we can build community through the art. So I feel very fortunate to be a part of it. That's beautiful. And how did you get involved with Chalk? Um, I, I have to give the credit to my friend Stacy Beruma. She's not here right now. But shout she, out to Stacy, though, that, right? Shout out if, to you're, if you're watching, Stacy, shout out to you. She's actually a face painter, and one of the um, one of the main events that we are known for is the Dia de los Muertos. In fact, when I was a teenager, mm -hmm. that's how I was first introduced to Chuck was their Dia de los Muertos events, and Stacy is a face painter for those events, and she recommended me to apply for the job, so I really um, appreciate that. And again, it just points to the level of community and relationships that we have with each other as artists, as community members, and those that are interested in keeping our culture alive. That's great. Uh, and so where is the new location? What's the address, and uh, is there anything special happening soon? Uh, I heard that there are Maybe an opening celebration tonight, is that true? That is true, we'll be there till nine, possibly 10 if we can pack the house. Um, on my right, way let's pack here, it out folks, come yes, on. Yes, let's go. Um, on my way here, we actually did pack the house and it was a, a fantastic opening. Um, it's, uh, our current exhibit is about 10 to 12 artists. Mm -hmm. um, some of them are newer artists, some of them are established artists, but that's a beautiful thing about Chalk as well, that we have that ability to reach out to many different artists. And we do have a third Thursday, or excuse me, third Friday event coming up also. Okay, that's great. Uh, and so if people want to show their support for the Chalk Gallery, uh, what, what exactly can they do? What is, what is your advice to anyone in the audience or watching at home to uh, support the work of Chalk? Come see us in our new space, 222 Santa Fe Drive. Um, consider joining as a member. Um, make, sure you make, don't, um, make sure you make an effort to see everything that 
you know, from our education program, because that also has a long history. As I mentioned, the Dia de los Muertos is one of our signature events, but we have um, a lot of interested parties to strengthen our programming. So we're really excited about being in our new space. So please come out and enjoy it. We provide music and a small reception. So, yes. That's awesome. Reception sounds like free food and drinks. It, it uh, is. Uh, if, if I know what reception means, I know that much. All right. Thank you, Michelle, for uh, joining me here today for the Community Spotlight. Check out uh, Chicano Humanities and Arts Council. It's a beautiful organization uh, educating folks on Chicano history. Chalkgallery.org. Chalkgallery.org. Check it out on the interwebs, folks. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Woo!